So, I wonder if this thing is watching us, you know? It, like, it kind of looks like it would be. Like, some sort of camera almost. That maybe Tolstar is watching our progress some of them, um, <clears throat> from where it was he was. In the previous area, we'll just say. Alright, well. There is indeed a fighter fly over here. But, like, he's kind of hard to see until he pops out, so. Alright then, well. Time to continue on with getting all those coins for Tolstar. So we're just gonna, you know, casually murder some fighter flies while we're at it. There you go. There's no reason not to either. How about we up our bros points? Because why the hell not? I like how uh, the BP is there before you can even use it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah! I like how uh, pathetic the sound of jumping on them is. And hey look, bullet bills. Except they're not that bad. There's like versions of bullet bills later that are like a hell of a lot worse, but these ones aren't even that big of a deal. And they can only attack the, the person right in front of them, so you know, you can't really get hit by them particularly. Let me just do my uh, video check that I am indeed recording. Because, uh, you know, ever since that time that I wasn't, I've been kind of worried about it anyway. I will up BP for Luigi as well. Why not? Okay, we've got a plus two. Nice. Alright then, so anyway, <clears throat> continuing on. I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. Because it's very possible you could do that. Alright. Let's see, is there anything over here? Because, yes there is, okay. There's some, uh, some coins over here. Just line up properly, there we go. Sometimes they don't jump when you press the button, it's kind of a bother. Alright, and back we go. There we go. Simple. Bike pads. Hold the control pad, left or right to go in that direction and press A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Alright, well. I wonder if it's possible to make this jump. Yeah. Well, it would be. It probably might be if I could actually press the bloody button. Well, it's possible for Mario to get over there, but not Luigi, apparently. Stardust Fields, Area 64. Guys, we're going to find some aliens. Oh. Oh, look, aliens. Sergeant Starshade, the shooting stars who just witnessed were an alien bombardment. Bombardment! Perhaps. In the name of the Starshade Bros, we will find the alien scum. They will rue the day. Why are there so many brothers that are like red and green? Like, it's not just Mario and Luigi, there's damn near ones for everything. These guys creep me out. What the hell is wrong with them? General Starshade, sir, I've confirmed the presence of a suspicious unknown, I uh, unknown entity. I love how Mario just jumps on Luigi's back or shoulders and they just move. It's a vivid green colour that pierces the eye. Oh, it's standing on his head, actually. And yes, sighting confirmed. However, I see not green, but red. Urgent to pursue additional visual contact immediately. You guys are just toad imposters of the Mario Bros. Kaboom! Oh, incredible! It is none other than Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom! Luigi sighting confirmed? Oh, hey, somebody actually knows who he is. Sergeant Starshade, change of mission objective. Obtain autograph stats! Of course. Hmm, I see. Incredible. To think Princess Peach's lovely voice in the hands of some vile enemy. Her voice must be recovered no matter what it takes. Priority one, Sergeant Starshade, as long as he's not the voice from, um, Mario Advance. The first one, we're fine. We must provide as much field support as we can. Very well. We Starshade Bros will teach you the secrets of Bros action. Master Mario, Master Luigi, special Bros action training shall commence immediately. Are you ready? Um, this is a, unfortunately an unskippable tutorial. And, you know, you can't really skip this, so I'm going to speed through it because nobody cares. No, I don't require another explanation. I get... No, I don't require another explanation. Alright, anyway. There we go. Excellent! 
Alright, there we go. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way... I know people will probably, probably be like, I can't believe you skipped that, but like... Honestly, do you really care? Do you want to see the tutorial for that a billion times? No, you don't. Alright, anyway... I certainly don't need to see it again. Hmm, <laughs> incredible. Master Mario, Master Luigi, you truly are super brothers. I salute you. I know why I sped that part up, by the way. You have perfectly mastered the high jump and spin jump. Master Mario, <clears throat> Master Mario, Master Luigi, may your mission be successful. Good luck out there. Move out! Maybe they're secretly toads within disguise. Syrup. Great! Luigi take the wheel, because he's in he's in first place. I, would, I bet there's probably a video called that. There was probably a video on YouTube called Luigi take the wheel. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a thing. That's probably a thing. Especially knowing YouTube, yeah, most de most definitely. Die, there we go. Eh. The bullet bill blasters have, I believe, 10 health? Something like that? I don't know that much. All I know is that I'm pretty sure they don't have that much health. No, the Goombas on the Cooper Cruiser have like 4 HP. So, I think the Fighter Flyers have like 6 or something, and these things have 10, but I'm not entirely sure. Take that. Gosh, you're still alive, why wouldn't you be? The Bullet Bill Blaster, <clears throat> which doesn't actually move by the way, at least not normally, is faster than Luigi. Oh good, you got you got Mario, good damn it. Well, it doesn't matter if you're faster, because he just gets up immediately, so... You can't attack Mario while he's down after you did that to Luigi twice, Mario. Saw it coming! Yeah. <laughs> I love the, I love how it just... Whoop. It just sounds like such a pathetic uh, jump, doesn't it? Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Why are you still alive? Yeah. I want to kill him with a counter attack just to show you what that looks like. That looks like. Yeah. Right under your feet. Oh, hey, I got a quit. What do you know? I love the sound that uh, that the game makes when you kill something. Yeah. <laughs> Get over here. He's just running away the entire time. Coward. Ow. Of course, I mistimed that one. Why wouldn't I? It's not like it's going to matter too much in the long run. <clears throat> Having lost a little bit of health, but you know. Hey, nice. Loads of coins for once. What do you know? Anything on this platform? No, of course not. Why would there be, right? How could you possibly think there was? It's not like it's there for no reason. Oh wait, it is. There we go, tons of coins there. Actually, I'm very curious. How many coins do you have? We have 95. Oh, what do you know? Mario and Luigi certs! Great, they're back again. This is an emotional reunion, sirs. No, it's not. By your leave, there is something we completely forgot to mention to you earlier. Well, that was your fault. You told us you could leave. Affirmative, you see. When when you master a technique in the field, you can also use it in battle. Since you have mastered the high jump and spin jump, you can now use these techniques in battle. We must confirm technique mastery in combat simulation. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Why are there so many? Oh no, the most threatening enemy in the game! Proceeding the Bros Attack tutorial. Yes, that's right, another tutorial. As you can see, it's grown dark. Blah, blah, blah. Shush. Shush! How did it survive that? That would be a very good question, actually.
Why did it move the menu there? <clears throat> it doesn't normally do that, does it? Officially confirmed that these field techniques are indeed executable in battle. <clears throat> proper planning and preparation will ensure your safety throughout your journey. We wish you luck. Move out! And they're gone again. Alright, anyway. Back to playing the game. There we go. We actually got him. I thought we'd missed. Again. Yeah, there's not really any reason to not get experience here, because why the hell would we not, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, we'll just kill all these guys really quickly. Yeah. I love how, uh... We just... Easily just flatten all of them. It's kind of funny, actually. Oh, right, anyway. My commentary for this episode has not been very good, I can tell you that much. I mean, I don't really have anything to say in this area, it's just, meh, fight a bunch of really weak enemies, etc. That's all I have. So, yes, my commentary is very stale in this episode. Yeah. Take that, there we go. Get rid of this. To be fair, we don't really need to fight the enemies here anymore, because we do have probably got enough co we probably have enough coins by now. Luigi, level up. What stat should we up this time, I wonder? How about our speed? Because everything seems to be outspeeding us right now. One! Great! You'll also notice that Mario typically has more power than Luigi, while Luigi has more defense. It's like... I'm not entirely sure why Luigi is defensive. I mean, he's not. He's, like, he's really skinny, but oh, whatever. He's Luigi. Maybe he just has the defense of being able to win while doing absolutely nothing. Except, I'm pretty sure Luigi can't win by doing nothing in this game, can he? Take that. That series is still going with Luigi winning by doing nothing at all. I love how it's mostly just because the AI is terrible. <laughs> the, AI <clears throat> the AI calls themselves to lose and then Luigi just happens to win by chance. <laughs> Fluking his way through victory. Uh, just get rid of the bullet bills <clears throat> eventually, whenever it decides to actually die. There we go, now it's gone. <laughs> we just gotta quit. That was overkill, I think. I would most certainly I would most certainly confirm that is overkill. I'm so sick of these damn fighter flies. So one thing I want to know, we'll get to it in a second, because it doesn't really make any sense asking it yet, but it is something that I always thought was kind of weird. Well, that went well, didn't it? Something I was always wondering. And that's this. So we have 133 coins, right? Get off. <laughs> uh. Yeah, get out, let's see. You now have 133 coins. Yeah, it took you long enough. But well done, I'll just be taking those coins now. Now what I want to know is, does he take them all? Fine, let me out of here. Huh? You want out? You want me to help you? Who said I'd do that? Cry, you welcher. Yak, yak, yak. He doesn't actually take any of our coins, actually, I just realised. Yak, yak. You're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Outsiders be gone. Racism. Alright, well, let's put that up to level 3, because I know how to do this one. It's actually very easy, mind you.
Just, you know, making sure I do this properly. <laughs> No, wait, go back. No, never mind. I guess I'm jumping. I didn't ask for that, but you know, the game was like, I guess you're doing that. Yak, yak, isn't that a nasty attack? Even watching the hand I throw with won't help you. <laughs> I love his face when he said that. Ugh. Right, let's actually do our proper attack that I wanted to do this time, shall we? Ugh. There we go. Yak! Did you think I'd fall for that? Because I didn't. Here we go again. Get ready for a nasty attack. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. But how about this? Yeah, sometimes I'll press the wrong directional arrow. <laughs> how do I even make that mistake? I don't know. Yak! Yak! You know what? I don't even need to restore my bro's points. <laughs> See, I told you. Oh, we got a one-up mushroom from him. How ironic is that? Actually, now that I think about it, that's kind of grim. But anyway, let's up our health, because why the hell not? Why the health? Why the health not? I'll tell you why the health not. We got fucking plus one, because of course we did. Why wouldn't we? What a surprise that turns out to be, right? How about our stash? Hey, plus three, there we go, that's better. See, Luigi gets it. How does that work? You, sir, have been griping far too loudly for some time. <laughs> what the hell? Now that was uncalled for. Gah! M Mario, Green Stash, you gotta get Princess Peach's voice back. It's all up to you. Ah! <laughs> he just absolutely annihilates Tollstar. Like wow, how did Tollstar like jump from his back like all the way to the other side of the thing? Though? That's what I want to know. All right, well, here we have a cave, I suppose. A tunnel, sort of like a tunnel cave. Yeah, we'll go with that, and then hit that. You fiends! Let me in. We, we found you at last, you scum! <laughs> scum! Oh, what a scumbag! What are you doing with Prince Peasley? Yes, there is no mistake, you kidnapped Prince Peasley. We have witnesses. Now confess, villains! What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi? Lies, bald-faced lies! What do you mean, we've got moustaches? The superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom would never come here. Self-owns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not lying. They say they've come here chasing someone called Cackletta, and they're really, really tough. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh boy. Pardon us, sir. So sorry. See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by something. Or oh, so recent reports out of Hoo Hoo Village claim. We have been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitness accounts, the prince's kidnapper wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustard and fink rats. That is all we have to go on, gee, I wonder who that could possibly be. If you come across anything, please let us know. Reopen the investigation! I really like the music here. Like, imagine if this was an actual village. Like, I feel like the crime in this village would be like zero. The zero percent crime rate. Person moves to Teehee Valley, or moves to Hoo Hoo Village. Crime rate drops to zero percent. And then we have a bunch of coins and we have a mushroom in here. And obviously we can't get through there yet. It's not until later on we can get up there. I also should mention that uh, if you do a spin jump up the stairs you go up quicker. I wonder if speedrunners do that or not. This is Hoo Hoo Village on the flanks of Hoo Hoo Mountain. The mountain is a sacred place. Okay, whatever you say man. Everyone should climb Hoo Hoo Mountain at once. You can see the whole kingdom from the top. I like how he doesn't question that we walked into our house. If you climb down the mountain, you'll reach the town surrounding Bean Bean Castle. The town's folk are so much stylish and fashionable, the people in this town. I just adore them. Why don't you go live there then? I don't know. I, I saw this kingdom's prince, Prince Peasel, in the edge of the village. I, I'm sure of it. He was taken to the top of the mountain by some guy wearing a weird helmet. 
<clears throat> to reach Huhu Mountain's Peak, you have to either get a ride from Blablamadon or, or hike up. Hiking the mountain is brutal, but if we get a ride from Blablamadon, it'll be a snap. I always called him like Blablamadon or whatever the hell. Bla I never noticed his name was Blah Blah. I thought it was Blah Blah or Blah Blah or something like that. No matter how long you, you visit, Blablamadon won't come back. I feel it in my bones. They said he saw something that looked like Prince Peasley went to summer and never returned. With Blablamadon gone, we can't get to the top of the mountain. This isn't good. I can't quite put my finger on it, but, but the name of Blablamadon reminds me of something. Huh? You want to climb down to where there's a town? We'll just keep heading left down this path. Oh boy, let's go to the town. I'm tired of living in the sticks. I want to live somewhere cool where there's, lo where there's lots to do and go live in the town then. Have you met Sledge and Mallet, the hammer making masters? <clears throat> Not particularly. If you head left, you can climb down to the mountain space. And oh, look who it is. Farfall. G give back Prince Peasley! And he's dead. Surprise, motherfucker. Gak! You, you again! You are the pair of finkrats that swooped in with the bars of that I hate! And if I say to you, while I was busy with Peasley, you have been catching me. I have fury! But Kakletta has already begun smearing the bottle of her next tasty plan of a bean bean castle. Since you two cannot make it in time, I say to you, this is better never than late. So here is your halting place! I have fury! Since you will not be shattering the stone, I'll laugh at you trying to climb down this mountain. Can we just say, why can't you jump over this? Like, you clearly can make that. But no, apparently not. So, I like how it's just a muscly man, but it's like made out of stone. <laughs> it's a very funny visual. Alright, well, since we can't go that way... We've got another cave here. We are said to be the descendants of the people who developed the Huhu civilization. This land is largely populated by the Beanish peoples, but there are other races like ours. Wait, you mean to tell me you're, you're not the Beanish people? This one you were. What are you, Huhulians? That's probably actually the word, actually, now that I think about it, Huhulians. <laughs> actually, he did say Huhulian, didn't he? Like, just five minutes ago or something, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm really supposed to spin that, but the fact that you can jump, that is really funny. Alright. Ah, the waterfalls mist feels so good. My paws are partying. I wish we could stand here together forever. I think they're pretty bored if you did that. Oh. <laughs> it's like, this sprite of Mario's is the silliest thing. The thing is, though, you just have to, like, spit water into here and you get a coin. Like, that's all you get. Occasionally you'll get a mushroom, though. This is a pretty sure you do, anyway. Beware of overhydration if overdrinking symptoms appear. Stomp on the victim's head. Spitting excess water on objects in this area is strictly prohibited. Oh, what are you going to do? Duh, no matter what you hit me with, you can't knock me down. No, I think. <laughs> yeah, you can't get him yet. I like how if you try to get Luigi the drink... You can't handle it. <laughs> what the sound? Just... <laughs> right, anyway. Lu <laughs> Luigi's noises in this game. We jump all the way down, and we're fine, don't worry about it. Alright, anyway. Into this area. Soldiers come to town. Blablanderdon Blab fails to return. The bridge suddenly breaks. I have a bad feeling about this. Because of something awful happening up on the mountain. The bridge is broken, so we're repairing it. Go talk to villagers for a while and come back. You can't climb the mountain until the bridge is fixed. The bridge is broken, so we're repairing it. Okay, we're great. He's just talking the same thing. I used to think they were shooting when I was a kid. I was like, why are they shooting and what are they shooting at? But this is the last stone. Now we show the true spirit of the Hammerhead Bros. This stone's our last shot. Ha! Huff! Huff! The stone just ain't gonna do it. We can't make hammers no more. Huh, what do you two think you're staring at? What are you looking at, punk? Huh? What? You want us to make you a hammer? Hey, I know these two dudes. They're Mario and Luigi from the Mushroom Kingdom. The Jumper Hammer Kings. Yeah, you're so right, Sledge. I remember these guys. Why are a couple of celebrities like you bumming around this place looking for a hammer? 
Oh, hey, look, you don't have to tell us. We fully understand. Our lips are completely sealed. We'll just make what you need. We're professionals, after all. That's right. Pros all the way. But the thing is, in order to make hammers, we need hoo hoo blocks from the mountaintop. And since Blood Leonard on suddenly stopped coming down here, you can't get up to the summit. Hoo hoo blocks are hard stones. Hammers made from those things can break anything wrong. We want to climb the mountain to get more hoo hoo blocks, but we can't jump well enough to do it. Boing. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh oh yeah. What was I thinking? You guys are jumping pros, ain't you? So I say you could get to the top of the mountain to get us hoo-hoo blocks. That would really hook us up. If you get us some hoo-hoo blocks, we'll make you a special hammer. You scratch our backs, bros, and we'll scratch yours. Uh, and yeah, you can't go through here. I like how they say they can break anything, but not every single like big stone like that one over there. Not every single big one is breakable. With the first hammers. We're done fixing the bridge. If you're going to climb the mountain, be careful up there. Alright, so how long has it actually been? How, how long have I been recording for? 26 minutes. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. Because Hoo Hoo Mountain is up next. And I feel like Hoo Hoo Mountain could definitely fill a whole video. So, that's what I'm going to do. Also, the music here is rad.